Hi friends, welcome to Excel Gyan. Today I am going to explain you step by step process to get the clipboard data and set it. So what I mean to say is if you have something stored in clipboard, you can actually process that data for anything you want to do using VBA. I have posted another video but it does not explain step by step process to do it in case you want a ready-made automation you can always download from here okay so let's get started so to get data from clipboard we'll create some two buttons right now and then i'll explain you so, so first button i'll go to developer insert and create active x and let me rename is at set clipboard and let's say here is something which I want to set to clipboard so whatever I write over here it gets stored in the clipboard okay so now I copy this one and paste it to duplicate and then show me clipboard okay so we have two buttons one is show me clipboard and set clipboard to this data okay perfect so let me just double click on this one I would suggest that you should always change the properties to a meaningful name. Let me do it also. Set clipboard and then get clipboard. Okay. So if I just double click on this, I'll get this window. So in order to perform this particular uh, process, we have to add a library to this. Library is like um, you, you, you are running a library and for example, you do not have uh, animation books, so you generally get it from somewhere. So similarly in VBA also, there are some certain operations which uh, you cannot perform directly you have to call a library to it so it is very simple just um, go to tools and references and in references you have to add a library over here so which is called as ms forms 2.0 microsoft and i don't think it is there Okay, it is not there. So congratulations. So what you need to do now is you have to go to browse. I can see path over here as well. Windows and system wow. I am using 64 bit and I hope you all are also using 64 bit. And then if you just type over here fm20.dll it will show you so this one i have to use click on this and click on open once you choose that you can see this microsoft forms 2.0 object library so this is added now to get the data from clipboard we have to create an object so sim clipboard or rather i would say my clipboard as new now i have added a library which is ms forms so if i just type this forms and press dot then it will show all the objects so I would choose data object now I want to set the data so I will put like my 
clipboard lot of spelling mistakes best is to just copy paste so that you don't make mistake now set text so it intellisense is guiding you now so it should be text and then you can enter the location from where you want to copy the text so right now i remember it sheet to dot e2 so sheet two dot range e2 dot value and then you have to write one more code dot put so my clipboard dot put in clipboard perfect so if i just press alt f11 and if i come out of the design mode and click here and now if i do control v anywhere it will show this save this data save this to clipboard so if i put xxx over here and click on set clipboard and now if i do control v it will show this one so this has been set so first set of commands it's done now i have to show the data which exists in clipboard so i click on show me clipboard and i just double click on this and then this event is generated over here now what i need to do is again i have to create an object i can just copy this one and paste it over here now i have to type dot get from clipboard and then you have to put message box so it should be in array one so get text and should be one g e t t e s t okay so let's try running this now it is showing my clipboard which is i copied actually so let's say your name click on set clipboard now the clipboard has this your name as stored and if i click on show me clipboard it will show your name and if i just change it to my name is deepak and i click on set clipboard and then click on show me clipboard it will show you here so to summarize this particular automation what i have done is first i have added reference to this particular library microsoft forms 2.0 object library in case you don't see this you can find this library at this location after that i have created two buttons the first button is over here actually and um, this button is actually getting data from sheet to range e2 value so in case you want to have your own variable also you can just put your variable as my data and this data my data will get automatically get set to this clipboard and then i have received the data from the clipboard so this is the code for the that to get the data from the clipboard in case you want to give it to a variable or assign it to a variable you can say my final data equal to my clipboard dot get text and this is like a array i hope this makes sense and uh, if this makes sense and helps you then do let me know and uh, do like this video if you have any questions you can always ask in comments and i would try to get back to you as soon as i can so take care and bye bye